how should investors look at you guys? How should they place themselves? So, because, you know, they, they, the next statement be, you know, there's a dime a dozen of these guys and they're all talking about the same thing. How should they view Rivers Goal, in your opinion? Yeah, I think, you know, we can't change the markets, right? Markets go up and down. The good news for us is, yeah, we're well cashed up for the next one, two years. Right, so to a large extent, the market can go up and down and I feel sorry for investors that bought it two or three times the current price, right, if they need to get out. But the fundamentals in terms of every dollar you spend, what's the probability of success? And if you are successful, what does it mean? Um, even though we're seeing this disjointed market, in the last six months, there's been a lot of corporate activity. Um, we've seen IGO, um, SQM, um, you know, a whole bunch of acquisitions in Western Australia of, you know, even small resources, 10 million tons, right? at sub 1% lithium, which shows you, you know, that's a 10 bagger or something for the explorer that's been successful. So that's the business we're in, very, very simple, right? If we are successful, how much are we gonna make for every dollar spent? And, you know, the answer is probably 10 to 100 times in this market, right? Um, so all we can really focus is on how effectively we spend our money. And in this market, you look after your money a lot. The good news is uh, for people like us who are cashed up, we get better quality drillers and better quality geologists for a lower price. And we don't have to wait. We can pretty much pick and choose and plug them into our project schedule that suits us, not whatever we can get. So actually, counterintuitively, in this market, as it currently is for a cash stuff explorer like us who has a very simple exploration hypothesis, it actually makes my job as a CEO a lot easier. Look, I think that's a, the best summary you could give because a lot of people don't understand that we, we measure success in our industry really in years and then our ultimate success in decades, not days and weeks when the bull runs yep. happening because yep. everyone expects that. And I think um, this is the best time because we have limited cash, we don't have income, but we, it's a lot more economical for companies like yourself to spend at this period of time. Absolutely, so if you're in a fortunate position that's raised money at the right price at the right time, our ability to execute and the efficiency of you know, getting bang for your buck in this market is a hell of a lot better than it was a year ago. It's tough for the punters, right, who've mm. seen their you know, short-term um, investors, but for long investors and fundamental investors, actually, this is a great time. Mm. I mean, without we're not saying you know you should invest now, whatever, but it, we, we, every story could end well and every story could end not well. Yeah, that, um, that's the nature of the beast. That's right? the nature of the beast. And it, yeah. you know, you make ten to twenty time twenty baggers. But what I will say is, when the price is high, you're probably looking at a five bagger. You know, if the company you're investing in is successful, at current prices, you know, you're probably looking at a 20, 30 bagger, right? Yeah. If they're successful. Yeah. All right, I've um, decided I'm going to have a, a segment called the Devil's Advocate yep. segment, which um, just give us an idea of the negatives, I suppose, and, and your thoughts on the, and on the comments. Um, first up, investors looks at um, Rivers Gold and say you got a lot of meat, you got a lot of projects. Um, you know, where where you're going to spend your money? What's your comment on that? Well, I think we've been pretty disciplined about you know getting rid of non-core projects for cash. And, um, you know, we've demonstrated the sale of the Laskin asset. We'll on that project, and our plan is readily simple, right? We want simple exploration hypothesis that's preferably binary. Um, we get on the ground early, we drill, and then we move on. We've got a good uh, project um, stream of opportunities because of the network we have uh, of invested both directors and, uh, and um, non-directing major shareholders. Um, so that, you know, that's, that's a simple, the, the negative, and I'll move on here, for WA I think is that this state is becoming a lot more difficult to explore. You know, the two big uh, green and uh, red tape issues are occupation, occupational health and safety. And I think we're in the right direction, but I think we've 
over-egging things, you know, um, actually how you prevent accidents and things is primarily by having experienced, good, sensible people. Um, and I think we're starting to lose the aim of how we go about that. Um, I do understand that we have to make progress, and, but you know, the, the um, legislation that's come out in the state at the moment uh, in the last um, year is, I think, over the top. And then the last one is, you know, for native title and heritage. Um, you know, it's tough right now because we're transitioning to a new act, but I'm not seeing, uh, we're going to have to go through a lot of dramas till we get to where places like Queensland are, where I've explored and done business who have had much tougher heritage acts, but at least the rules are set, you know how to go about business. At the moment, it's just tough because nobody really knows how it's going to work and um, there's a lot of projects stalled. You know, our, our principal project, we can't drill at the moment. You know? And in previous times, and I guess in five years time, in my opinion, that shouldn't be an issue. But at the moment, um, it's stalled. And that's not gonna change, I don't see it for the next few years.